Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode one of Doctor Who: The Edge of Time. This is, of course, my first VR game I'm playing on the channel. I'm very excited for multiple reasons. For one, I love VR. I've not played that many games in VR. It's been mostly over the past year or so that I've started getting into it more, um, thanks to a society that we had at university where we did stuff like this. And then I actually got a PlayStation VR in November last year, so it was 2019. And uh, this game in particular is one that I have been dying to play for so long. Uh, basically, anyone who knows me on a personal level knows how much I love Doctor Who. It's honestly the franchise that means the most to me of anything, any game, any TV show, any film franchise, any books or anything. This is basically what my life re revolves around, for better or for worse. Um, so to play this not only as just a general let's play on my channel, never mind a game that I'm doing in virtual reality, is incredibly exciting to me. And it's been a passion project that I've had waiting on my list of things to play for so long, and yet we're finally here. So I'm so happy. Obviously you can see my hands there. Hello! I'm playing with um, a PlayStation Move. Um, to complete the VR, so this is all handheld, which I've never played like a game like this before on the PlayStation VR. I've just used the controller. Although I have used something like this for the, uh, is it the Hive? Is what, that's what it's called for the um, Steam, which is what we had at our society. Anyway, um, I've only played a little bit of this game, just the tutorial. Well, it's not really a tutorial, it's sort of like an introductory level, um, just so I knew, so I could wrap my hand around, my eye, <laughs> wrap my hand around, my head around using the VR. Um, move set for this game, so I didn't really know how it was going to go, but I've got a fairly good grasp of it now. So, let's head into a new game. Uh, yes. So, I'll just take it back into that uh, introductory area again. There's nothing really much to it. Uh, so, I don't know how much I'm going to have to explain in terms of what's, what the franchise is about, because I don't know if this game is aimed at people who are already fans of the show, or if it's a way of getting people to play a game because it's a game, not necessarily because it's involved with a different show. If I need to address bits of continuity and stuff like that, then I will do, because I know for a fact that, because I've only seen trailers of the game, I've purposely avoided any sort of gameplay, but I know that the Daleks and the Weeping Angels play a significant part as sort of monsters of the game, and there's another alien that I don't think's ever covered in the TV series. Um, and I know that we get to fly the TARDIS at some point, and I know that the Doctor uh, plays some role in this. I think it's more of a, a guiding role. But I know that Jodie actually, uh, that's Jodie Whittaker, who's the current Doctor at the time of recording. I know that she, she's in this actually introductory bit. You'll hear her in a, in a moment, actually. Um, but if we move around like this. We're just in a laundry for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that, that'll be her uh, thing. She, she's like it's coming from up there. It's probably going to sound really weird on the commentary because obviously I'm moving my head around. I'm bloody well hoping for it, love. <laughs> Please do that. Some washing up detergent there. What's that? Rosy reds. Try and get it in the basket. Whoop. That was pitiful, isn't it? I don't know, I'm gonna bother. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hello. Oh, not again. Misogynist. 
Oh, bloody hell, oh dear. Oh, ooh. 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 That isn't pleasant. Ah, this is why we're in the laundry. Because it seems to have gone. That's the thing that I've seen, but I don't recognise. This might be new for the game. Um, do you want to get close? Oh, buddy, that's a, that's a bit too close. <laughs> In Malachi, right on your screen. Because obviously you're seeing it as like as if it was on a TV screen. I've got it wrong. Right. Oh. Okay, not those two. Tell me now, you love. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, this is like some horror game, this, isn't it? Right. Whoa. Away with you. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I guess I could do like basic explanations of things that might be references to the show. So, they mentioned that the Stenza and the Zygons. Okay, so the Stenza are creatures that only appeared in. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, series 11. Okay, um, which is Jodie's first series in 2018. It's sort of weird as creatures that have a ritual where they hunt people and they use their teeth and stick them to the face to mark the sort of trophies sort of thing, which, you know, pretty really morbid. I don't know where the bleeding fuse box is, it's very dark. Uh, I'm missing the obvious here. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, hang on, I see it. Um, there we go. Okay. So yeah, that's the standard. They only appeared in two episodes in series eleven. They might reappear. I don't, I don't know. Um, although they didn't really, they weren't really that memorable. Okay, okay. Uh, the Zygons are a bit more well known. I hope they're not actually going to come after me because I'm not really ready for that. It's a bit sure over here. Were there any other photos? Back by the washers? Oh, oh, cr you make me go back in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Zygons first appeared in 1975, I want to say. It's not that. Uh, Tom Baker's second season, Terror of the Zygons, when you they were with um, Sarah Jane and Harry Sullivan. What? What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, basically, aliens that covered in suckers and can replicate uh, other species' bodies. I don't know if it's just humans. I think we've only seen them take on human form, but yeah, and they also appeared in. Day of the Doctor, which is the 50th anniversary. Oh, display pictures, okay. Uh, I'll go over here then. And also appeared in... So I wish it stopped, but we're so close. Uh, in 
Series 9. Oh. I can't see. 83. It's 83. There's a Coal Hill School thing over there, which again is a minor reference to. It's the school from the very first episode. Hang on, I've just forgotten the thing. Uh, that's what I get for being distracted. Oh. Alright, okay, okay, okay. So it's 83. Alright, so 83 is the second thing. And. 1483 or 1843. Okay. Uh, how do I. Can I. Uh, ooh. I can't. This is. It's sort of an internet for me, so I don't think it really matters. Okay, fair enough. Just keep clicking it until it gives you the one. Ah, the sonic screwdriver. Hello. Oh, I love my sonic screwdriver. So don't Ooh. Actually, I'll show you a nifty little trick to keep it safe when you're not using it. Alright, put it in your pocket or something. Uh, oh, I'm going to move sonic screwdriver up to your waist and press T button. It's a holster. Right. Uh, green T button. Nope, I'm just glitching into things at this point. What one was T button is? Super handy that. Oh, that's the. Word of warning: the hydrox are on the verge of breaking out, so you better get a move on. Uh, that's square, but sure. Using the sonic. All right. Oh, hang on. Um. But you know, not to be pedantic. But the sonic doesn't work on wood. It's, it's wood. Uh, it doesn't work on wood. Well, okay, sure. I mean, I guess we can take liberties. Oh, bloody hell! Yes, okay. Does that work. You know what to do, please, when guarding my also. I'm listen, Jordy. Thirteen, Doctor, whatever. Just give me a second. I'm trying. It's not doing it. I don't know what to do. It's not doing it. <laughs> It's not, it's not working. Oh! He ignored it. What do you need to do return here? I didn't know that. I didn't know I actually had to give the Sonic a twirl. I would just do it on itself. Oh my god. Why 
I can't pick it up. There we go. Will they actually though, or are you just... Thank you. I also am loving it right now. I need a satellite dish. Where is the satellite dish? Uh, is it in the bin? Or can I find Mickey inside? This is a burping bin. Uh, satellite device. Well, that's all fine and dandy. I can find where the lean thing is. It's not there, is it? No, I can't even move it up there. Uh, Well, you know, I should hope so. It's not back inside, is it? Come on, I need you to find a satellite device. It's not like I'm asking for the moon. Although, technically speaking, the moon is a satellite. And also an egg, apparently. Uh, what? I can't. I, I might just be blind here, guys. I can't see. Where Oh wow, thank you. It's not back inside, is it? I don't think it is. Oh! Oh, 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 that's convenient. That was cheeky. That's not what I thought was satellite, but come on. Yeah, don't film me now. Yes. A rookadabra. Oh, blink. Am I? Oh, yes. Here we go. Hello, dear. What time you showed up? Hey, whoa, 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 what did I say? I hear Nicholas Briggs. <laughs> it's a goddamn Dalek. Oh, that 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 would not be good. That do be a Dalek. Um, can I run away? Uh, I assume most people know what the Daleks are, but if you don't, they basically want to kill everything. They hate everything that is not themselves. Okay. Come on, love. Come to me, Tardis. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Unless I start dodging shots. Yay! Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm. <laughs> Expect me to nerd out, guys. Oh, I don't, have to, don't think I need that. Come from the inside. Um, listen, Doc. Oh my god. Nice escape from the laundrette, mate. That's what I call a clean getaway. Then, oh well, it's easy. But hey, my TARDIS, Hydrox, a reality. Can't go any further. It's going to be amazing. A new splash. Now we've got to get on and somehow save all of creation. Right? This is going to be fun. Oh, can I explore it? Oh. No. That sucks. I should get to explore it later. Hang on. Okay, got ten minutes. Obviously I can't check the timer as I would in usual Let's Plays because I've got a VR headset on. <laughs> do, do, do. Probably gonna get copyright struck for this, but you know, it's totally worth it. This is this is weird. I'm stood up going through the time vortex. Do, do. Go to my maze theory. Well, it's looking good so far. I really enjoy it. Oh my god. That was very trippy. <laughs> Doing that in VR. Wow. Oh my god. I'm so. I'm <laughs> not really putting across how actually happy I am at the moment. There we go. Yay! We'll find the TARDIS. Oof. <laughs> Crikey, you're right, love. So, here's the skinny. Do people still say here's the skinny? What actually is the skinny? Never understood it. 
of it, to be honest with you. I mean, sorry, easily distracted. Big picture. I'm marooned at the end of time and in space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way, I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. But I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. What's at stake? Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on because that sounds way cooler. <sighs> the hologram is going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the console and I'll tell you what needs to be done. Where is the spaceship below? The okay. Time is just doesn't know you yet. But there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it and I'll guide you through what you need to do. Okay. Oh, little TARDIS. Hello. Do you know what to do? I'm not following. Oh, here I am. I'm going here. Ready? Okay. As a wise man once said, Alonzi! Hey! <laughs> Alonzi! Dranimo, fantastic. Shut up, humans. You know how it is. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, you're getting good at this. Not quite as fast as my PB, but you're knocking at the door. Well, you're approaching the porch. Drive me, call this out, whatever. Don't test me, lady. Okay, I want the custard cream. Why can't I have the custard cream? I would love the custard cream. Hey, whoa, 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 I wasn't paying attention. There's one, turn it like that, turn it like that, turn it like that, turn it like that. Oh, I didn't see that bit. Okay, fair dues. There we go. We're in motion. Let's fall. I want another custard cream. Give me a custard cream. Working hard, I deserve these. It's so weird that even when you can clearly tell it's fake, they put it close to you, you just open your mouth. Once you step outside the TARDIS, I won't be able to communicate with you. At least not this time. The local auto defences won't allow it. I'm afraid that you won't be on your own for long though. You've got to get a shift on. With the reality virus and all the time glitches, nothing is stable. Remember, get that first time crystal back to the TARDIS. Without it, I'll be trapped forever and the universe is toast. That's not good. Look, you can do this. Oh, I think we're done. That's that level. Oh man, this is really cool. <laughs> 
got to fire the TARDIS, dude. You know, not everyone can say they've done that. Unless they go to one of the experiences and, you know, go in the actual TARDIS, but yeah. This is a close enough secondary. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, it's weird. Like when you put the custard creams to your mouth, you literally feel like you, you know, your body tricks you into thinking you're about to eat every time. Thinking, there's no custard cream there. I didn't lie to you. Oh, hello. Oh, sounds very. Oh, ow! I'll just give myself a concussion. Let's open the door, shut. Okay. Oh, hello. So it's nice. Shut the door behind us. We're not. We're not animals. I just knocked my TV. There we go. Do I want any old fool to go in with a TARDIS? Okay, just making sure I didn't hit my VR set, the uh, camera. That would have screwed things up. Oh. It's a player. Well, I want I want to think. Cool. I don't know what that was, but sure. Oh, hello. Well. Who's there? Oh, try, try to pick it up. Come here. It's very awkward with them. So I don't know where I'm reaching. Oh, fuck's sake. Come here. Can I even pick it up? Should be able to pick it up, surely. Ah, there we go. Hello. Or do I have to keep it? Or I don't know. Oh, hang on, press the wrong button there. What am I doing? I'm just supposed to wander with this now. to it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So, doesn't do anything. Ooh, chill. Soon. What the? F what is that? Can't pick it up. Uh, do a Sonic it? No. Um. I think, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, it's a, I don't know if I'm pressing the right button. No, not that one. Um, yeah, because otherwise I'm just gonna go on forever. And I think we've uh, had enough time. But yeah, this has been a fantastic opener. I'm really excited to see where we go from here on in. This is gonna be a really fun let's play. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it, obviously, whether or not 
if you, if you watch Doctor Who, you'll probably enjoy it a lot more. But if you don't, I feel like it's a, still a really good experience so far. But it's mostly fan service at this at uh, the moment. Although when we actually start fighting off people, that might start to you know up the excitement a little bit. But that's where we're going to end it for today. Before we wrap up, let me thank my amazing patrons. My five pumpers patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three pumpers patrons in the description down below. And that's going to see credit to my one pumpers patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to have with the channel. So I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below, which you can see my hand, to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode two. Bye, guys.